Hi, my name is Dr. Tim and welcome to the Australian Dental Congress 2019. Now we're in Adelaide and it's going off. There's people everywhere, the atmosphere is electric, there's exhibitions where there's lots of cool tech and stuff happening, there's prizes, there's competitions going on, there's food going out the back there. The lecture program has been amazing and I'm super excited about all this. Now, let's go and see what we can find. So I'm at the WNH stand where they've got these Miele uh, thermo washer disinfectors and I've always wondered like what do these things do? Like do we really need them? Isn't it just the same as scrubbing? And we've got one in action to show what it does and, and what it actually does is it kind of eliminates the need to have staff manually processing instruments. So putting them in ultrasonic, scrubbing them by hand, all that kind of stuff. Um, it does take 44 minutes but from what the reps say, it shouldn't take that much more than pressing their hand if you do it properly. And when they say do it properly, it means, you know, having it in the ultrasonic for 15 minutes, really properly get in there and really scrub it. Um, it goes through a multiple process in actually getting it to work in different cycles. Um, it does a pre-wash uh, where it gets sort of most of the water soluble proteins, discharges that, then goes back in there with neutral detergent and then basically cleans everything up and actually it's a drying process in there as well. Um, you can see here, that's how it kind of I mean, there's water going everywhere. Um, the way it kind of has the instruments, you can do it in different ways, cassettes or loan standing by itself. Obviously, it doesn't sterilize the equipment. You've got to do that separately afterwards, but it gets rid of all that manual processing afterwards. So as a practice owner, I'm thinking safety for my staff, making sure that they don't get needle stick injuries. This is probably, you know, the way to make that safe and robust. So this is David Griffiths, he was my first boss and the person who taught me all my skills and extractions and fillings and things when I first graduated. Welcome to the Congress, I guess. So David, what, what made you come to the Congress this year? Um, oh, it was time to catch up with people like you and, uh, and our colleagues, although unfortunately our numbers are starting to dwindle a little bit, so we don't see quite so many of our year here anymore. Um, and yeah, just to make sure that what you're thinking is actually still uh, in alignment with uh, where the main game is. Yeah. Um, the first lecture uh, on artificial intelligence was uh, a bit of a uh, mind changer and a game changer. That's yeah. um, an interface between dentistry and orthodontics and um, technology that um, is going to be a game changer in your time. Yeah. Probably not so much in my time that's left now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a really interesting way of learning. They're calling this a lunch and learn where we've got, I think, oh, I don't know, there might be 12 or 13 different lecturers and they're all giving lectures while people are eating their lunches. So you don't, they don't even need a time to like stop learning. You can learn while you're eating as well. So if you want to get the most out of this Congress, you can get as much CPD points as you can. And they've got things from uh, composite treatment plan, there's stuff all over the place. So it's just really interesting to know that once you've done your lectures, you can come and do these lunch and learns before you go to the exhibition and see all the cool stuff. So I'm at the NSK stand and I'm looking at the Various Combi Pro. And what this is, is a unit that if you want to set up a hygienist or you want to do like pro fees, things like that, and you don't want to set up a whole new system, you can buy this desktop unit, uh, which you can put in and it has the pro fees system where you can use calcium powder to clean stains off teeth. You've got your um, ultrasonic section as well that can do endo as well as perio. And basically you can set the whole room up with just this one unit for your hygienist. Um, the system can take um, water straight from main lines or from its reservoir as well. So if you have a room that's not plumbed in, you just plonk this down and get it started. Uh, the system's about $7,000 or so, but if you want it fully kitted out, I think it's about ten dollars or $11,000 at the um, ADC 2019. And it's about $2,000 cheaper than you'd get it if you weren't here. So just a unit if people want to put on a hygienist, which I would recommend because we've got three and we love them. 
So the extraction lecture was packed out. There's so many people there. And you know, if you're not here watching this stuff, you're missing out on some really good content. And the thing I really like about it is that there's streams. You know, you can go to one or the other and if it's packed or something you don't like, you hit to another lecture room. So let's see what's in this one. Like I said, really packed. Now, I've got Robert here, who's the secretary of the Australian Dental Health Foundations, and he's got some information about the two types of ways we can help and what dentists need to do or contribute in order to make that happen. So we have two methods. One is a dental rescue day, where the dentist volunteers their practice for the day and they may see 20 patients in that day. The other method is an adopt a patient model where the dentist adopts a patient and follows through with a complete uh, treatment plan to ultimately improve the patient. So they so have it. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. So we'd love your help. And they'd love your help. So if you want to contribute your time or finances to help this this organization which is doing great things around Australia, you know what to do. Go to the website, click that link and go for it. Thanks a lot. OPGs, LATSEFs and 3D scans. Now these machines are sexy but I want to show you the Hyperion X5. It's just around here. Have a look at this baby. This is like the smallest 2D, 3D machine in the world. It won a Red Dot Award because no pedestal, you can mount it pretty much anywhere and you can take 2D and 3D scans wherever you want. The 2D machine is about $25,000, the 3D is about $60,000 and the volume it does is 13 by 11 so plenty for you know um, implants and for wisdom teeth all that kind of stuff. Um, the thing that's great about it is look how, look how tiny it is. If you have like a wall in your surgery, you can mount this thing on there and take 3D scans wherever you'd like. So if you've tight for space, if you've got a surgery that's not very big, then the Hyperion X5 might be the one for you. So I'm at the 3M stand and when I asked them what is the one thing you want to showcase, it was surprising to me that they wanted me to showcase their Filtech Universal Composites. Now these are brand new things, I think they've just come out today. Um, and the advantage about these is that they have only eight shades that can do the whole Vita range. Now as a practice owner, I love it when we can consolidate product because we don't have to have like so many products and different materials that only get used once in a while. We have only eight shades that we need to buy now to make people, happy, uh, dentists happy. Um, there's also some white shades and there's a pink shade as well to mask out uh, metal underneath it. And I believe a millimeter of that will mask out quite a uh, large percentage of the, the darkness of metal. Um, you know, labs use it all the time, so now as dentists we get to use it too. Um, there's also a monomer in this that when you set it, um, kind of self-releases, so if there's cavities with high C factors, the internal stresses are released as well. I don't know the chemistry behind it, but if you come to the 3M stand, I'm sure they'll explain it to you. So, Filtech Universal. So the same shades, less material. So another thing at the ADA stand is that we've got all the branch members here as well. So we've got Victoria, there's South Australia, there's Queensland, I think there's New South Wales as well. And so basically, if you want to have a face-to-face -face meeting with your branch members because you're not in a capital city, this is the time to do it. So at one of these congresses, if you're like a burning issue that you want your branch members to know about so they can take it to federal level, there's even some federal members here as well, this is the place to be at the ADA stand. I'm going to go and speak to the Victorian branch right now. So one of the people I've managed to get in and come to one of these interviews is Matthew Hopcraft who is, was on MasterChef for a season yes. and was also, is also the CEO of the Victorian branch. So we can ask him the hard questions. <laughs> are you okay with that? Depends how hard the questions are, but sure. Really hard. I mean, the number one question that I think most people want to know is that how can they make a difference in terms of what they can get their ADA branch to do? Yeah, that's, that's actually a really good question. Um, I think, you know, we exist for the members, and I've been a member of the branch for 25 years in a range of different um, ways, as a, as a general practitioner in the private sector, in the public sector, as an academic, uh, and now in this role. 
Um, and we constantly want to know what members want us to do. We exist for the sole purpose of helping you out there in practice. Um, so we want feedback wherever we can get it. Um, we, we have obviously at any event that we run, we want people to come up and talk to us about what we do. Um, I think social media is a really good way of engaging and I think we're trying to do more on social media to, to get to people. Um, local groups I think is the best way. So we've got uh, groups organised geographically all around the state uh, and those groups uh, run events two, three, four times a year and that is a good opportunity for members to go along uh, and talk to their colleagues for one, have some nice CPD. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but we send a, a council member to each of those meetings so there's a direct link between uh, what we're doing at council and providing information down to members uh, and for members to then feed information back up to council and say, look, you're doing this great, you're doing this terribly, have you thought about doing this? So that's a really good opportunity and it exists all across the state all throughout the year. So at the Dent Supply Serona stand, and last, in two years ago, I did a piece on the OmniScan. Now they've got a new one called the Prime Scan. This thing is beautiful. It looks really nice, huge screen, and apparently the thing that I really want to test out is it can cut out the soft tissue when you're scanning. So I can scan well and obturgate things like that, and hopefully all we're going to see is teeth. So I'm pretty excited about that. It costs about uh, $60,000, $10,000 more than the Omnicam, but there's a few things inbuilt into it. It's got the heater inbuilt into the actual um, camera itself and actually scans a wider range. So rather than doing a very thin line, it kind of scans everything across the, across the teeth, I guess. So let's have a look and see how we go. So PPE, as always, very important. And what do what? I want to win? I want to win, or oh, the Genius 9000, maybe. Purple, let's see how we go. Let's go for it. Mm. <laughs> Come on, purple. <laughs> a purple one. And, oh. and, and. You want to win oh, some? Rose Gold, Dorina will enjoy that. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> The, the fun thing about being to one of these uh, congresses is you meet these exhibitors like credible and I entered a competition to have a crazy photo and guess what? You won! I won! What did I win? You won a Qantas Club membership for a year. That is amazing. Guys, dreams do All come true. All from a star jump. Dreams do come true. All from a star jump. Thank you so much guys! Hey! Yay! I won! <laughs> So you know what, this Dental Congress has been hard. We've interviewed a lot of people, we've had a lot of lectures, and you know what, at the end of the day, a nice glass of wine is what you want. It's what we need. This is Dr. Tib, over and out.